This plane was supposed to be the safest in the sky, until it wasn't. Just weeks ago, a Boeing 787 crashed 42 seconds after takeoff, killing 241 people. And now, the FAA just dropped a bombshell ruling that's shaking the entire aviation industry. They found corroded parts, missing bolts, and one tiny failure that could rip open a door mid-flight. And guess what? You might have already flown on one of these planes without even knowing it. So what exactly went wrong with the Dreamliner? And is it still safe to fly? Let's rewind and show you how one of the world's most advanced airplanes turned into a global safety crisis. On July 3rd, 2025, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, issued a serious legal order called an Airworthiness Directive, officially numbered AD 2025-12479. Now, what is an Airworthiness Directive? It's not just a suggestion. It's a mandatory rule. When the FAA issues one, it means something on the aircraft is considered unsafe, and airlines must inspect it, fix it, or stop flying the plane until they do. And this time, the directive targets one of the most advanced and popular passenger planes in the world, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. So, what exactly is the problem? According to the FAA, certain clamshell couplings and safety straps on the Dreamliner are now considered unsafe. These parts are used in the galley and lavatory areas, specifically where the potable water system is installed. In simple words, this is the clean water used on the plane for things like hand washing, preparing tea or coffee, and even for some of the sinks and toilets. These doors or panels that cover this system are held in place by these straps and couplings. But here's where the concern comes in. The FAA found that in several 787s, especially the older ones, these straps are wearing out faster than expected. Some are getting corroded, some are loose, and some may have been poorly installed from the beginning. If one of these straps fails during flight, the doors or panels covering the water system could fly open or even detach completely. Now imagine this happening mid-flight, maybe during turbulence, or while the crew is walking through the galley. The door could swing out and hit someone, or worse, damage other parts of the plane's interior. This is not just a theoretical issue, it's already happened in isolated incidents, although no serious injuries were reported so far. But the FAA doesn't want to wait until something worse happens. They're stepping in before a disaster occurs. That's why this directive is being taken so seriously by airlines, safety experts, and even governments around the world. The FAA is now making it mandatory for all airlines that use the 787 Dreamliner to inspect these parts immediately. If the straps are faulty or outdated, they must be replaced. Airlines are not allowed to reuse the old parts or delay the checks. They've been instructed to follow Boeing's official instructions listed in a technical document called Service Bulletin B 787-81205-SB250299-00, which was released in February 2025. This bulletin gives step-by-step -step details on how to carry out the inspections and what kind of parts to install instead. While the FAA's latest directive focuses on lavatory straps, this isn't the only issue Boeing 787 has been facing in recent months. In fact, several other technical problems have quietly made headlines, but didn't get much attention outside aviation circles. One of the major concerns is about radio communication systems on the 787. According to reports from early 2025, some pilots noticed that the aircraft's radio frequencies were switching on their own mid-flight without any manual input. In the middle of crowded airspace, this kind of glitch could cause confusion between pilots and air traffic controllers, something no one wants during busy flight operations. Boeing did respond by issuing a software patch, but many airlines, including Qatar Airways, said the fix wasn't reliable. As a result, the FAA is now reviewing whether further action is needed. Some airlines are even asking to limit the directive to specific software versions, arguing that not all aircraft have the issue, 
but that debate is still ongoing. Then there's the case of the forward pressure bulkhead, a major part of the aircraft's nose section. In April 2025, it was discovered that some Boeing 787s may have been built using wrong-grade titanium in the fittings. If that turns out to be true, it could weaken the aircraft's structural integrity in extreme flight conditions. The FAA hasn't grounded any planes over this yet, but it has already ordered inspections on at least 97 Dreamliners built during 2016 and 2017. And if all that wasn't enough, there's one more issue worth mentioning. Corrosion between dissimilar materials. Some Dreamliners were built using a mix of carbon fiber composites and aluminum in certain sections. While this makes the aircraft lighter, it also creates a risk of galvanic corrosion, a slow chemical reaction between the two metals that can weaken the joint over time. This corrosion was found specifically in the lavatory and galley areas, which brings us right back to the FAA directive we've been discussing. Now, let's talk about what this new FAA directive actually means for the airlines. The companies that fly the Boeing 787 every single day across the world. Big names like United Airlines, American Airlines, Qatar Airways, and Air India all rely heavily on the 787 Dreamliner for their international and long-haul routes. The plane is known for its fuel efficiency, passenger comfort, and ability to fly longer distances non-stop. But now, every airline that operates even a single Dreamliner will have to take action. And it won't be easy. According to the FAA's order, these airlines are now legally required to go through their entire fleet of 787s and inspect each one for faulty or outdated safety straps in the galley and lavatory areas. They can't just check one or two planes and assume the rest are okay. Every aircraft, no matter how new or old, must go through this inspection process. And if they find even a single damaged or outdated part, that part has to be replaced immediately. No exceptions. This is a big deal. These inspections take time. Aircraft can't be flown while the checks are happening. And that means delays, scheduling issues, and extra costs for the airlines. Think of it like a school bus company being told, check every seatbelt in every bus. And if even one of them is frayed, replace it before the bus leaves the garage. That sounds reasonable, right? After all, safety comes first. But when you scale this up to an airline that has dozens or even hundreds of aircraft, it becomes a massive job. Let's say a major airline like United has 70 Dreamliners. Now imagine the time and manpower needed to inspect all 70 aircraft, order the replacement parts, schedule maintenance slots, and complete all the documentation required by aviation authorities. All of this has to happen while keeping their normal flight operations running. In some cases, airlines might even have to temporarily ground certain aircraft until the repairs are completed. That can disrupt flights, lead to passenger complaints, and hurt the airline's image, especially if they're forced to cancel or delay popular international routes. And it's not just about labor or downtime. Financially, these repairs and inspections cost money. Even though the parts being replaced might seem small, the cost of sourcing FAA-approved parts, paying licensed technicians, and dealing with aircraft that aren't flying can quickly add up. For an industry that already works on tight profit margins, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic and recent fuel price increases, this adds another financial burden. Let's take a step back. In recent years, Boeing has been at the center of multiple controversies. It started with the tragic crashes of the 737 MAX aircraft in 2018 and 2019, which killed a total of 346 people. Those crashes were eventually linked to a faulty software system and poor pilot training. But what shocked the world even more was the way Boeing handled it. Whistleblowers came forward, emails were leaked, internal documents showed that safety concerns had been raised, but ignored. The result? The entire 737 MAX fleet was grounded globally for over a year. Boeing's reputation took a massive hit. 
but the problems didn't stop there. In the years that followed, new concerns kept popping up. Gaps in quality control, rushed production schedules, and even reports of missing bolts and tools being found inside finished aircraft during inspections. These aren't rumors. These were confirmed by multiple investigations and by the FAA itself. In fact, Boeing had to pause deliveries of some aircraft models several times between 2020 and 2024 because of these safety concerns. And now, in 2025, the Dreamliner, their most modern and high-tech aircraft, is facing its own safety warnings. This is the same plane that was marketed as a game-changer for long-distance flying. The Dreamliner was supposed to be lighter, faster, more fuel-efficient, and more comfortable. Boeing promised better materials, smarter systems, and stronger build quality. But with the FAA now issuing a directive to replace faulty straps in the aircraft's water system doors, people are asking, has Boeing really fixed its safety culture? Or are these just more signs of the same old problems? Because when you add everything up, the past crashes, the quality issues, the missing parts, and now this, what you get is a pattern. A pattern that raises red flags. A pattern that makes passengers, regulators, and airlines question whether Boeing is putting profits ahead of safety. The FAA's recent action also sends a very strong message. In the past, many critics said that the FAA was too soft on Boeing. Some even said Boeing had too much influence over its own inspections because of something called the ODA system, which basically allowed Boeing engineers to approve their own safety checks. But this time, the FAA isn't backing down. By making this inspection and replacement mandatory, and by banning the use of old parts, they've made it clear they're not taking any more chances. Now let's connect this latest FAA ruling to something even more serious and deeply tragic. Just a few weeks before the FAA issued this mandatory safety order, the world witnessed a heartbreaking aviation disaster. On June 12, 2025, an Air India Boeing 787 Dreamliner crashed just 42 seconds after takeoff from Ahmedabad Airport. The aircraft, operating as Flight AI-171, was heading to London. But tragically, it never made it out of Indian airspace. Within a minute of becoming airborne, the plane plunged to the ground in a nearby industrial area, killing 241 people, including all passengers and crew on board. This was the first ever fatal crash involving a Boeing 787 since it was introduced in 2011. And it shocked not only India, but the entire global aviation industry. How could an aircraft known for its advanced technology and safety features crash in such a short time after takeoff? Was it pilot error, a mechanical failure, or something even more worrying, like a hidden design flaw? While investigations are still ongoing, early findings have raised some important and troubling questions. One possible culprit that's being looked into is the ram air turbine, often called the RAT. Now, most people have never heard of this device, but it's a small yet very important part of modern aircraft. The RAT is basically an emergency backup system. If the plane loses power mid-air, the RAT drops down like a tiny windmill and uses the airflow to generate electricity. This power helps keep the most basic systems running, like navigation, flight controls, and communication. But in the case of the Air India crash, some initial reports suggest that the RAT may have deployed incorrectly or malfunctioned just seconds after takeoff. And this could have caused a sudden loss of electrical control systems leaving the pilots unable to manage the aircraft. Some analysts believe that the malfunction might have also affected the flight data readings, leading to confusion in the cockpit during a critical phase of flight. And if you learned something new, smash that like button, subscribe if you fly, and share this with someone who's traveling soon. They need to know this.